In the near future, America's first sustained flight into inner space will be a reality. The rocket ship X-15 has been tested and qualified for powered flight. The pilot is ready, and the flight monitor equipment is prepared to record the data of this first intensive exploration of inner space. The ultimate result? Information, processed by IBM computers and furnished to engineers, who will design the ships to bring man closer to his goal, the moon and the planets. This B-52 will take the ship to 38,000 feet. In the master control monitor room, data recording equipment will start. A last check on details such as cockpit temperature, fuel and hydraulic pressure will be made. And 50,000 pounds of thrust from the rocket engine will blast the X-15 out of the Earth's atmosphere. Up to 10,000 units of data will be transmitted each second to ground recording instruments. At the peak of the arc, the Earth's gravity will be overcome, and the pilot will experience the sensation of weightlessness for a sustained period. When the ship noses down and re-enters the atmosphere, friction will raise the temperature of its metal skin to nearly 1,000 degrees. At the pullout, the pilot will have to withstand a force of 7 Gs, raising his apparent weight to almost 1,000 pounds. The ship will circle to lose speed and then land at Edwards Air Force Base, California at a speed of almost 200 miles an hour. But this will not complete the mission. All the data recorded during the flight is essential, but the millions of individual units of information are of no value until they are reduced and translate it into facts for the engineers to analyze, evaluate, and use to make the next flight the next step up into outer space. Well, that sounds good. I hope to fly in it tomorrow myself. 